metal detecting. In a field, in the rain. It's a good job I got this tree to sit under and relax. Ah, my butt's getting wet. Nope, not the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Well, that's a first for me. It's a bit of a watch strap. I would assume that said Morgan at some point. I'll check the hole to see if there's any more in there. Unfortunately, it's not silver. You can see how it's pitting there. Uh, I think it's probably stainless steel. Not very good quality stainless steel. Yeah, just a just an old watch strap. Kind of cool. Not what I was hoping for. There is a lot of aluminium around here. Shall we count all the bits of aluminium I find today? This is piece number four so far. First ring pull, but fourth piece of aluminium. It's a little piece of lead. Can't see anything on it. Might have been something interesting once, but yeah, it's a shame really. Five, six, seven. Nice little piece of copper pipe there. Looks like a, a fuel line or a brake pipe out of a vehicle. Maybe a tractor, since I'm on a farm. Yeah, I am soaking wet. I believe that may be a bit of horse tack off the uh, straps that go around the horse's head. Eight. That's an interesting looking little piece of lead. But I think it might be a squished bullet. A bullet that's hit something and just gone And then you can just see where the rings used to be on the old bullet there is all flattened out. That's what I think. I'm not entirely sure. Let me know in the comments if you know what that might be. I'm not sure what that is. At first glance, I thought maybe it was a Bronze Age axe. Uh, my heart stopped, but I don't think that's what it is. It's old, whatever it is, but it's almost impossible to clean it up. Everything's so muddy and wet. My best guess is the barrel of the toy gun. It's lead, it's not very good quality lead, but it's lead. That there would have been the sight. I would have thought you looked down it that way. That's my best guess, it's pretty old. It's hard to clean it up, so I don't know if there's any patterns on it or anything. Just everything's so muddy and wet. But yeah, bit of a toy gun. That's a pretty little thing. I think it's probably the base off a doorknob or a door handle or a cupboard drawer or whatever. Yeah, something like that. You can just see um, the imprint of it there, on the other side of it there. Yeah, very nice. I like that. Nine. Another little piece of lead there. It's very, very old lead. Very old. Don't know what it is though, or what it was even. Oh, dead. Oh. It's a nice little pistol shot there. Tiny little lead bullet. I think it's a pistol shot. It's quite small, so I don't think it's out of a musket or musket pistol. I, I don't know, but um, yeah, it's a pistol shot. That's what I think it is. Eleven. Finally, nice little bit of silver. Lovely Queen Victoria. 1889 there it is it's a little bit worn it was blacker than that when it came out the ground but i was just trying to rub the mud off it very very gently and all the black came off it as well so it's very nice very happy i didn't expect that to be anything good really but at least i know what it is that is a slug from a slug iron if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll see that I found these before. That's how I know what it is. But yeah, I'll put a picture up on the screen. You can see what it is there. But yeah, it's just a slug. It's hard to tell, but that is a little hinge of something. Just a little one, probably off like a nice little wooden box or something like that. It's a nice little button there. The back is in really good condition. And I'll tell you why. As you can just see there, excuse the pin pointer, you can just see there, that's where the button was. And it was upside down like that. And that piece of slate was on top. You can just see there on the slate where the uh, the shank of the the button was sitting next to it. So it was that way around. It was protecting the little button. That's very nice. Not quite sure where that is. It's caked in mud because everything's so wet. And it's really hard to clean, even with the spray bottle. But it's bent a little bit like a love token. It's not a love token though, because it's not silver. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can clean that up in the grass or something. Managed to clean it up okay. 
uh, it's very thin. I'm going to assume it's some kind of jetton or something like that. I think it's too thin to be a coin. Um, so yeah, some kind of token. 12. What's in the ball of mud? Something in there somewhere. Size it on. It's there somewhere. What could it be? Don't start singing. Still in there. It's there somewhere. Still there. Or is that it there? Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's a little clog clasp. Try saying that 20 times in a row when you're drunk. Clog clasp. That's what that is. Once upon a time, somebody was walking along here and the clasp on the clogs broke. And they weren't best pleased because then the shoes start falling off. I don't know if that's what happened, but yeah, it's a clog clasp. I've just found this. That's not it. There it is. Got it mixed up then. Yeah, just a lump of iron. Thirteen, fourteen. I think that is some kind of window latch or something. It's a bit broken. Yes, I broke it when I tried to see if it still moved. But yeah, just a, you know, it's a bit of rubbish really, but it's something kind of cool. It's come off someone's window for something. What's it doing in a field? I don't know. Look at that for a buckle. It's quite big. It's also very fragile it's uh the metal's quite soft on this one again it's pretty difficult to clean in these conditions because it's just wet and muddy i've done the best i can it's got a nice little design around it i'm going to clean that one up at home and i'll put a photo up that's what i'll do but yeah that's very nice i like that Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Second coin of the day. First one was silver, so that was very nice. This is just a little half penny, an old half penny. Can't see who's on it. I don't want to rub it too much because, well, you know why. And it's just impossible to get all the mud off. So I'll clean that one at home, figure out who's on it, and I'll let you know on the screen there. Got a very nice twenty-one, twenty-two. Yeah. It's there, 
it is. It's a penny. It's an old penny. Now see if I can clean that up a little bit. But like I've been saying, it's uh, the wetness and the mud is just making it really difficult. George V. I'm sure it says George V. There it is there. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself on this screen there somewhere. But I'm sure it's George V. It's another coin. Another old penny. Unfortunately, once again, it's quite toasted. Can't see anything on it right now. But once I clean it at home, if I see anything, I'll let you know there. Yeah, another old penny. It's a barrel tap key. Lovely. I love finding these things. They've got a good history on the farm, these have. So the farm workers were allowed a couple of beers at lunchtime to keep them hydrated. And the beer would come out of a barrel, and on the barrel would be a tap. And on that tap would be a key. And when all the workers had had their, had their fill of beer, the farmer would take this away. So that the uh, workers wouldn't get too drunk. Something like that, the story goes anyway. But yeah, nice, lovely little barrel tap key. Not entirely sure what that is. I think it might be one of those ring things off like a fabric for tent, or you know, like a tarpaulin type thing. It's quite an old one. I'm not entirely sure. Let me know in the comments if you know what that is. It's another coin. It's George V. Once again, a little bit muddy. I can't see a date on it because it's just the mud. It's, it's like glue. 19. I can't see. 1918, I think that says. It's a teeny, teeny tiny button. There it is. Very small. Broken on the back. It's coming up about 17, 18, that was. It's quite a strong signal for something so small. But yeah, little button. No idea what that is. Glass that side. Screw in that side. Um, is it glass? Yeah, some kind of some kind of ceramic anyway. But yeah, no idea what that is. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure somebody knows what that is. 18, 19, 20, 21. Look at the state of me. I am filthy. Caked in mud. Look at the state of me back soaking wet, coat is soaked, t-shirt soaked, my trousers are soaked, my feet are soaked, I sound like Spongebob walking around. But despite all that, I've been really, really enjoying myself. I'm really enjoying being out today, it's really nice. Down by the river, as you can see there, very nice. Uh, the river goes all the way down, all the way over there, all the way up that way. Um, there's loads of land that way, there's loads of land all up the hill over there. It's very nice, it's really nice. But yeah, uh, I found quite a, quite a few, quite a few things today, haven't I? I found quite a lot, plenty of aluminium. There was some aluminium I didn't dig though, because I knew it was aluminium. So why would I dig it? But 21 pieces in all that I've shown. Um, don't know why I bothered to be honest with you. But there we go. They're on the video. And on that note, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.